changes from the book. This is more like American Spy than American Assassin, but it's still pretty good. So let's talk about it. American Assassin is an action spy thriller based off a book of the same name. It follows a college student named Mitch Rapp whose fiance was killed by terrorists right in front of him while they were on vacation together. Because of that, he dedicates his life to tracking down and killing terrorists. This leads to him getting recruited by the CIA for black ops. Along the way, he's trained by a man named Stan Hurley, played by Michael Keaton. When a nuclear threat arises, they're called into the field and we'll discover, does he have what it takes to be an American assassin. Overall, this is a very serviceable, solid action spy thriller. It's not great, it's not a best of the genre, and it's certainly not the worst. If you like this genre, this is a movie that you will probably like. I am a fan of this genre, therefore I thoroughly enjoyed this movie. If you're not a fan of the genre, this isn't going to be the movie that wins you over. Now, to put all the cards on the table, I have read the book, and the movie is very good different from the book. It's a little bit like if you had a one page summary of the main plot beats of the book and a one page description of the characters and their relationships to each other, and you handed that to two different writers to create the story out of this one page summary, that's kind of the comparison of what the book and movie are to each other. They take place at different time periods. The main plot of the book is totally different from the main plot of the book. Your favorite scenes from the book are not in the movie. So there's like the main idea of it is the same. The relationships are the same. The vibe of it is the same, but the specifics are entirely different. Uh, so if you're a fan of the book, just know that going into it. With all that said, let's go ahead and start talking about the good. Right off the bat, what you got to talk about are the two leads in this movie, Dylan O'Brien and Michael Keaton, and both are really good in this. They bring just what you want to it and just kind of this intensity to them, a certain likability while the characters in a certain sense aren't very likable because they're these hardened uh, killers. So there's a lot about them that could be very reprehensible very easily, but they bring something to it. And both of them get, each of them gets certain scenes where they just get to shine, kind of playing off other people, putting other people in their place, and just always kind of having the upper hand on others. They just do a great job. Dylan O'Brien brings the physicality to it. And I don't know how much of his stunts were, stunts were him or the stuntmen, but he pulls it off. Like you believe those scenarios, they're shot wide enough and you believe the physicality of what they're calling him to do. Along those same lines, the action is handled very nicely in it. It's not the best action I've ever seen, but it's all shot wide enough that you can tell what's going on. It's not overly cut together, and there's a certain style to it in that you see the Mitch Rapp character training in both kind of boxing and Brazilian jiu-jitsu, and so then when there's like fight scenes with other people, you can see both those elements tie into it. Then you also see him getting military training involved knives and that plays into what happens. So it all brings something to the table that you enjoy out of. Also, just kind of like the first third of this, when you're seeing kind of the origin story of the training of the Mitch Rapp character, a lot of that's very cool throughout it. And all throughout the movie, there's these little scenes and I alluded to this a little bit earlier, between different characters that are just really nice, where you kind of get some the, the payoff that you want out of the, as the characters kind of play off of each other. But, I mean, just kind of one of the best things I can say about this is that it's an R-rated action spy thriller. And by that, I mean when a person gets shot, you see like a bullet hole in their head and blood spray out. When they're getting in fights and there's a knife and you see a knife go into a foot, it looks like it really hurts. When there's torture, and there's some torture in this movie, it's, it's uncomfortable, and it gets pretty nasty at times. And it's just nice to see R-rated action. You kind of don't realize you're missing it until you kind of have it back, because there's not a shortage of action in movies these days, but there is a bit of a shortage of hard, hard R action movies for adult adults that like that kind of thing, like myself, and this is one of those, and so it delivers on the things that fans of that genre want out of it. With that said, let's move on to the negative, and the biggest negative here is that the overall story kind of setup 
is p- just pretty standard for the genre. And the book's like that too. It's not the, the plot, uh, once you get past the training in the book, in the movie, they're, they're totally different. And it's not like I was like, oh man, the plot in the book was so much better. It's like, no, they're both kind of generic spy movie type plots. The movie has a little bit more of a generic nature to it in that the main villain of it is kind of one of these trope spy movie characters that we've seen so many times before in James Bond movies and in all sorts of different places of the nature of what the character is. It just feels familiar and they didn't give it anything that kind of pushed it over that edge into something new. It just felt like we're seeing, okay, that stock character for spy movies placed in this and actually, I guess what I'm thinking about, it, we've seen it at several different Bond movies have had this type of villain in them. And that that really, to me, was kind of the biggest negative. It's not that it's different from the book. It's that it's stock. And they didn't replace it with something better. They just put something different that was familiar for these big blockbuster type movies, but not better or interesting. And if I had one more negative for this movie, in the last like 10 minutes of the movie, right towards the end of the third act, the spectacle and scale of the movie kind of gets escalated really quickly. And it doesn't feel like it meshes with what came before it. It just feels like we go into a different movie. Like it builds off the events that happen. It's not like this random out of nowhere, but just because of the scale and size of things that they go with things, it feels out of place with what's come before and I don't think it needed to go as big as it goes towards the end of it. But overall, it's just a very solid action thriller that delivers on what you want out of movies like this. And if you don't like movies like this, it's it's not gonna win you over. You're gonna be like, yeah, okay, now this sort of thing's gonna happen or this is gonna happen. Oh, this type of character again. It's standard for the genre. Overall, as a fan of the genre, I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10. It gave me what I wanted, but it didn't give me any more than what I wanted out of the movie. And, uh, you know, I I can be very thoroughly enjoy this. I can see myself watching this one quite a bit, while at the same time not being a best of the genre type movie. And if I'm being honest, if you like action movies, please go and see this movie so we get more of these. This year's actually been pretty good about giving us actual, straight up action movies, and I've been very excited about that so i keep telling you guys go see them and this is another one please go see this movie so we get more movies like this maybe even a sequel to it i haven't read any of the other books in the series so i'd be interested to see where they go with it and there's plenty of stories to tell with the characters established here that's my take on it how about you what did you think about it let me know if you've read the book or not and kind of your take on some of this stuff also if you're new to my channel please consider clicking that subscribe button i do movie reviews ranking videos but the key thing here is i don't want to just talk about movies i want to talk about movies with you so Join me in the comment section. Let's get a lively discussion going on. And thank you so much for watching.